Now we're going to prove the theorem. If a quadrilateral is a kite, then its diagonals, diagonal, diagonals, is, then its diagonal is perpendicular. What we have here, as you can see, is a kite, A, B, C, D, and as you notice, we have in a kite that this side, A, B, is congruent to A, D, and likewise, B, C is going to be congruent, congruent to D, C. That is all part of making a kite. And what we're going to prove is that this line, uh, A, C, which is a diagonal, and B, D, is, which is a diagonal, are perpendicular to each other. And now again, we just restate, as I just said, that A, B is congruent to A, D, and B, C is congruent to D, C, and that's all part of the definition of a uh, kite. Next, we say that A is on the perpendicular bisector, and the reason we can say that is that A is equal distance from the end points of a, B and D, which is part of the definition that we have proven earlier times that using the Sosley's triangle, where we have the midpoint that that actually bisects this right here, and this point right here is going to be uh, perpendicular. So we'll get to that. So we know this now right here is on the perpendicular bisector because it's an equal distance from the endpoints. Same as for C. It is equal distance from the endpoints of this line, same line of B, D. So again, there's a restatement of that uh, C is equal distance from the endpoints of uh, BD. From that, we can conclude that AC is perpendicular to uh, BD because the straight line is the shortest distance between A and C. And therefore, since these both lie on there, then AC is the perpendicular by is the is perpendicular to. BD, which we have just proven. Thank you.